everyone, I'm Ishimi from Bombay and today I'm here to tell you everything you need to know about menstrual cups. For years I've been using pads and tampons, but recently I said yes to the cup. So menstrual cup is a reusable female hygiene product that has quickly become a popular alternative for pads and tampons. Here are four reasons why you should say yes to the cup. First, it is budget friendly. It doesn't burn a hole in your pocket and lasts up to 10 years. Second, it is eco-friendly. Pads and tampons lead to a lot of wastage, whereas a cup is safer for the environment. Third, a cup holds more blood, so you can leave it in for up to 10 to 12 hours without having to change in between. Fourth, it is safer for you. It eliminates the risk of a toxic shock syndrome. There are a lot of cups available in the market, but what differentiates the Bombay cup is the ring design, which makes it easier for you to pull it up. The Bombay menstrual cup comes in three different sizes, small, medium, and large. If you're a first time user, a teenager, or have light flow, the small cup size is for you. If you've given birth vaginally or have medium to heavy flow, the medium size cup is recommended for you. If you've given birth vaginally and have extra heavy flow, then the large size cup is for you. Sanitize your hands and cup using warm water and soap. Clean the cup by placing it in boiling water for around 7 minutes. If you buy a menstrual cup sterilizer combo, then you can keep the cup in the sterilizer container and microwave at high temperature for 2-3 to three minutes. You can also pour boiling water into the sterilizer container, place the cup and soak it for 5 minutes. There are several ways to fold a cup to make insertion easy, but here are the 3 of the easiest techniques. The first is a punch down fold. Push the rim of the cup towards the bottom and pinch. The second is a C fold. Use your Bombay cup to fold it so that it forms a C or a U shape. Third is the 7 fold. For a 7 fold, take the top of the cup and bring it towards the opposite bottom to make a 7 shape. Find a comfortable position and either squat down, put one foot on the toilet, sit on the toilet or simply stand up. Soon you will find out what works best for you. Place the folded cup in your vaginal opening. Simply withdraw your finger when the full cup is within and allow it to pop open. Feel around the base of the cup to ensure it is unfurled. With your finger, feel for any dents or folds on the base. It should be circular or oval. Pull the ring a little once it's in place. A vacuum has been produced and the cup has been successfully put if you feel resistance. Use warm water and soap for sanitizing your hands. Put one finger in and push down on the side of the cup to release the vacuum seal. Slowly pinch the bottom of the cup and pull it out. Empty the contents of the cup, rinse it and use it again. When you're done with your periods, place it back in the burlap pouch for your next period game. Yes, one of the many benefits of the cup is that you can have an undisturbed sleep while wearing it. Just remember to remove it and wash it within 10 to 12 hours. No, it is impossible for the cup to get stuck or lost inside you. So our removal ring is designed to be soft and flexible so that it doesn't poke you. But if you feel that it is sticking out, we suggest you to gently push it upwards until you can't feel it. Yes, of course you can. It's a normal process. You might feel a subtle shift while pooping though, but that's completely normal. If you are a beginner and are facing any discomfort or issues while insertion, you can use a water-based lubricant to make the process easier. Yes, of course. Once you say yes to the cup, 
you are free to move without any ifs or buts. No, not at all. Virginity is a concept associated only with sexual activity. It does not correlate with the insertion of anything in your vagina, be it a finger, a tampon, or a menstrual cup. For beginners, they might feel a little uncomfortable initially, but once you get used to it, you won't even feel that it's there. So a cup holds more blood than a pad or tampon. You might not feel the need to change it again and again. But we recommend that after every 10 hours, you take your Bombay cup out, rinse it and reinsert it.